Good morning children and welcome to my new class. So let us start from paragraph number 7. As you all remember that we were talking about Pear and Joseph. Pear and Joseph were two companions. They were two friends. Pear was a person, he was a milkman, a milk vendor. And Joseph was his horse. So let us read on how they had this bond of friendship. Pear would boast at the stable about Joseph's skill. I never touch the reins. What do you mean by reins? Reins are the, what do you say? Uh, these are used to control the horse. He knows just where to stop. Why? A blind man could handle my route with Joseph pulling the wagon. So he tells that even uh, a blind man, could uh, go with Joseph because Joseph knew each and every route. He knew where to stop. So it went on for years, always the same. Pear and Joseph both grew old together, but gradually, not suddenly. So gradually, they, uh, they both became old. They were such good friends. Pear's huge walrus moustache was pure white now. Joseph did not lift his knees so high. Because he had grown old or raise his head quite as much. Jacks, the foreman of the stables, never noticed that they were both getting old until Pear appeared one morning carrying a heavy walking stick. So in this paragraph number 8, it has been told that they both were growing old gradually. Hey Pear, Jacks laughed. Maybe you got the gout. Hey. Now, first of all, what do you mean by gout? What is a gout? Here, gout, a disease that causes painful swelling in the joints, especially of the toes, knees and fingers. So, here, Jack says that he had to use a heavy walking stick. It meant that he was suffering from gout. Hey, pair, Jack slapped. Maybe you got the gout. May we? May we. Now what do you mean by may we? Here. It's a French word. May means but and we means yes. So we say we means yes. So he says yes. Jack's pair said a bit uncertainly. One grows old, one's legs get tired. You should teach that horse to carry the milk to the front door for you. Jack's told him he does everything else. So he says he does everything else. He knows each and every house where to stop. He knows all the roads. He knows every route. The only thing left is putting the milk in front of the houses. So he makes fun of him. One morning, the president of the provincial milk company came to inspect the early morning deliveries. Jack's pointed pair out to him and said, Watch how he talks to that horse. See how the horse listens and how he turns his head towards Pear. See the look in the horse's eyes. You know, I think those two share a secret. I have often noticed it. Sometimes I think they both chuckle at us as they go off on their route. Now here, uh, the person Jax, he points out both of them because they both were talking something. It's, see, it's very strange that Pear was talking to his horse. But they were talking as if they were sharing some secret. And Jax was quite uh, surprised at this. Then Jax added anxiously, Pear is a good man, Miswa President. But I am afraid he is getting old. Would it be too bold of me to suggest that he be retired and be given perhaps a small pension? Now Jax was a very good man. So, he offered, uh, he asked the president to be little considerate about Jacks, uh, about Pear and make him retire and give him a small pension. But of course, the president laughed. I know his record. He has been on this route now for 30 years and never once has there been a complaint. He should have retired long ago. Tell him it is time to he rested. His salary will go on just the same. So see, the president was such a nice man. And he says that yes, he would get the salary the same way. 
But Pear refused to retire. He was panic stricken at the thought of not driving Joseph every day. He had such a beautiful bond of friendship with Joseph that he did not want to retire just because he could not live without Joseph. We are two old men, he said to Jax. Let us wear out together. What do you mean by wearing out? Wear out means to get old. When Joseph is ready to retire, then I too will quit. Jax, who was a kind man, understood. There was something about Pear and Joseph that made any man smile tenderly. It was as though each drew some hidden strength from the other. So they both shared a special kind of a bond which others could also see. Then, one morning, Jax had dreadful news for Pear when he arrived. It was a cold morning and still pitch dark. The air was like ice that morning. So one morning, there was a heartbreaking news. What was that? Jax said, Pear, your horse Joseph did not wake up this morning. He was old, very old, Pear. He was 25 and that is like being 75 for a man. So if a horse is 25 years old, it means that he is about 75 years of age of a normal human being. Yes, Pear said slowly. Yes, I am 75 and I cannot see Joseph again. So Pear knew that Joseph had gone. Of course, you can, Jack Sue. He is over in his stall, looking very peaceful. Go over and see him. So, he says that he should go and see him. Pear took one step forward and turned. No, no, you don't understand, Jax. And then he said, no, you don't understand. Because he did not have the courage to look at his dying friend. I hope this is clear till here and we will continue in my next class. So have a nice day and keep learning.